Uh, coming off the back of a difficult result, part of a difficult run, what's the mood in the dressing room at the moment? Uh, just that we've got to stick together. Uh, we're doing everything we can to put it right. Uh, we're working hard in training. We're also doing a lot more off the pitch now with each other to try and just get that little bit of team spirit that it might take to get that next result. I know you mentioned uh, in, in the previous interviews you've done a team meeting. These things are important to get them right as well at this stage at a time like this. That's it. And the meetings that we are having is more about passing on knowledge or past experiences to try and show to everybody else what that feeling's like of when you're in this sort of a, a run at the bottom of a table, how to change it. Things that have worked in the past, things that don't work. It's important that we all gather our thoughts and put them together and try and work out the best outcome. Are you able to talk about what sort of things were discussed amongst the lads? Because I know it was led by the by the, the players rather than by the manager, wasn't it? Yeah, the manager asked us to have a, a little chat between each other, but it was something that needed to happen to, to clear the air, to make some things known that we don't like about what we do and things that we how we are going to benefit going forward. So a lot of the stuff was just about the standards that's ex expected of each other. With a young group, and it is a young group, is it more difficult to get those messages across and to, to see a reaction from it? Uh, as I said before, it's more about as long as one person picks up on something that you say and they can respond to it, that's enough. If we can do it as a collective, it's even better. The more people that are trying to improve, trying to listen, trying to develop themselves, that's going to help us. A run like this, have you been through anything like this one before, Mark? Yeah, I've been in plenty of these. <laughs> I've started seasons really badly, I've ended seasons really badly. Luckily enough, I've not, never been relegated and that's something that I do not want to happen this year. And as a collective, we don't want to happen. So I'm trying to pass on my knowledge, my experience of how it feels. And yesterday, a lot of what I said was just about real life stuff, about the people that might lose their job at the club and how it affects the fans and their mentality. And a lot of stuff that I've experienced in the past is more about that and I've had that going into the last 45 minutes of a season when we stayed up in, in the last minute of a game at Bolton and that feeling is not nice going into a game knowing that it's win or bust, it's not nice. So I'm trying to tell the lads, we've got 15 games to go, let's clean slate it now and get on with it. It is real, it does feel real, the fans know that it feels real, we can tell by their reaction. Is that message sinking in? Are you getting a sense that that fire is there in, in the dressing room now? I, I definitely think it is. Uh, from what we've spoke about yesterday, the feeling in the camp, I know we lost on Saturday in the first half, the performance wasn't too bad and the second half granted was, but the actual feeling in the camp on Thursday and Friday, there was a different mindset and I think that we're developing into that and we just need to now put that into a performance. The words relegation battle, they haven't been banned, but everybody's been sort of, no, let's, let's not hit the panic button. Is it there now? Are, are we actually w not waking up, but are we coming alive to the fact that we could be involved in one? There's 15 games to go and a lot of points to play for. So it's difficult to say yes, but where we, we are where we are in the league and there's no hiding from that. We need to pick up points to get away from where we are. Sounds like yourself, the senior players, you're taking on a lot of responsibility here. That's something that as you get older you do anyway it's a role that I play I've played probably since I was about 25 it don't matter that I'm 10 years old and that now it's who you are as a person to try and pass on that knowledge and take on those roles to, to improve everyone and the fans will say come on Mark it's words let's put it into action what do we do to turn these performances into winning performances and results that's up to us as players to put that right uh, nothing that the, the fans can or the club can do even the manager can set us up but it's up to us as a, as a team as a collective to go out there and perform obviously the manager his staff they come under scrutiny when we're in a run like this are the players aware of that do they feel a sense of responsibility for that as well yeah definitely the manager's been amazing with all of us uh the backing that he gives us and the the confidence that he tries to instill in us but the individual mistakes of what's been affecting our results and that, that's something that the manager can't affect so it's difficult because we're all trying to do our best for the for ourselves for the club for the manager but the individual errors have cost us and that's down to the individuals and that that's something that if we stop making the mistakes we'll start picking up points a lot of that comes from the inexperience does it the nerves and one error happens another error happens the head goes and we, you sort of see the players go into themselves stop playing the way they can naturally play how do we get away from that i think that's something that we're working on uh, as a collective that even if we do concede it's our reaction to that that we cannot afford to then go and concede another goal in the lot in the next five minutes i think that's something that's affected us a lot whether we've conceded 
an early goal in the second half of recent, uh, quite a few of the recent games. I think that's that is just mentality of how we start a half. Tough accusations that you have to face when you're going through a run like this is the dressing room together, is the discipline in the dressing room. What can you say about that? Uh, that we are together. I think that obviously some some things happened on Saturday evening uh, and I think that's almost galvanised us as players. I think that we can use that now to, to really show that we are together, that we can back each other, to, to show that strength in depth. The players responsible, they, they immediately stood up and hands up for that. Does that again show that, OK, mistakes happen? We've got to stay together, whatever happens, and move on. Regardless of what's happened, we're still trying to win the next game. And, and that's what I'm, I'm always going to keep going back to, is that we can only put that right on a Saturday. And that is up to us as a collective now to go and get that result. There has to be a personal pride thing here as well, Mark. As a player, whether you're 19 or on 90, you must not want to be involved in something like this. That's exactly it. A lot of the, what we've been saying is that we don't want it on our CVs as professional footballers. It's not a, a good way to, to start a career, to end a career. You don't know what could happen, what's next round that corner. So I think that we're all pushing in that right direction to make sure that we're not, we're not that team. Got to mention the fans. I said at the weekend that the, by and large the fans during the game, they're giving the players what they need. They're reacting at half time and at full time when the result isn't going our way totally understandable isn't it yeah of course and they're totally entitled to their opinion I, I can only speak for myself that I really feel like I've got a good res like rapport with the fans and they they help me like even at my age I still get a, a good buzz off that feeling of going to clap our fans and them cheering us back and I think that that's something that I'm still enjoying so why would it not be passed on to the younger ones? And I think that that's a relationship that we all want to happen, but we have to put that right as players. And when they react badly, again, there's, there's a sense of, yes, we know, we know where you're coming from. Are you feeling the same level of hurt? Yeah, of course. It, losing hurts us more than anyone. We're the ones that are playing the game. And I know that the fans will say that we've got no affinity to the club. We're not from the area, but it's our job. This is our job. It hurts us when we lose. What can we say to them about the 15 games that are left that, that, so that they do stick with us and they do keep coming because we need them? Yeah, we need them. Uh, we, we need them to stick by us. We're just going to go out for these last 15 games and show how much passion that we've got and character. Uh, like I said before, it's about me our mentality as a team and I think that hopefully th they'll buy back into that if we're doing well. Having been through this before, Matt, can you see a comparison in the dressing room that yes, we can avoid that relegation that you've not had yet and avoid it for the club? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there, there's a lot of characters in the dressing room as well. It's about trying to use them best and to get the most out of them. I think that, especially in a time like this, it's, it's about character and it's about mentality. Uh, they will pick up more points than you think.